Over the last several Ryzen desktop CPU launches, AMD has consistently achieved approximately a 20% increase in gaming performance, from one generation to the next on average. Moreover, the company shows no signs of slowing down, with plans to launch two new generations of Ryzen processors in the next two years. In this video, you'll get a sneak peek at the new CPUs AMD is developing, complete with lots of exciting details, performance projections and release dates. But first, CDKeyOffer.com has been my favorite trusted seller of affordable Windows 10 Pro OEM keys for over three years now. They're currently running a Christmas sale on all Microsoft software. Use discount code IVADIM to get 25% off and bring the Windows 10 Pro price down to just $16. Then securely check out with PayPal or another payment method. The key is delivered instantly, so you can activate it and upgrade to Windows 11 for free if you wish to do so. Microsoft Office 2019 and 2021 Pro are also on sale with a discount code IVADIM. Grab them now while the Christmas sale is on! The current generation of Ryzen 7000 series desktop processors based on Zen 4 architecture offer good value to gamers. For example, the Ryzen 7 7800X3D costs $360 and offers better performance than Intel's latest and greatest i9 14900K that costs $575. And just to be fair, it also beats the AMD's flagship 7950X3D in gaming as well. Additionally, the 7800X3D consumes way less energy to achieve this. Thanks to AMD's 3D series of CPUs, gamers no longer have to pay for the flagship Ryzen 9 or i9 processors to get top-tier gaming performance. Furthermore, even the cheaper Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 processors offer better performance than previous generation flagship products, allowing you to spend less on a CPU and more on a more powerful GPU instead to significantly improve the overall performance of a new PC system compared to what was possible in the past. The next generation of Ryzen processors will be called the Ryzen 8000 series and they are based on Zen 5 architecture. Zen 5 is a major architectural redesign, focused on efficiently increasing performance. However, the higher TDPs introduced with the Ryzen 7000 series are here to stay. The new Ryzen 8000 series processors will slot into the existing AM5 motherboards. The overall layout of chips underneath the heat spreader is not fundamentally changing, so it will be an easy upgrade for all Ryzen 7000 owners. Motherboard manufacturers simply have to roll out a BIOS software update to support the new CPUs. Recent leaks suggest that AMD isn't planning to increase the core count in their upcoming CPUs. This means we can expect models like the Ryzen 5 8600X with 6 cores and 12 threads, Ryzen 7 8700X with 8 cores 16 threads, Ryzen 9 8900X featuring 12 cores and 24 threads, and the top-tier Ryzen 9 8950X with 16 cores and 32 threads. The new CPUs will be produced using TSMC's 4 nanometer process technology, a significant step up from the 5 nanometer process used to manufacture the current Ryzen 7000 series, making a full generation of process improvement. The non-3D Ryzen 8000 processors are expected to launch in the first half of 2024. A quarter one launch is plausible. I think we will hear more details officially during AMD's keynote at CES 2024 in the second week of January. In terms of performance, these CPUs should once again deliver a double-digit gaming performance uplift of around 20%. This notable performance boost is very probable, given the expected over 15% increase in IPC for Zen 5 cores compared to Zen 4 coupled with the transition from a 5 nanometer to a 4 nanometer process and significant architectural enhancements. Moreover, AMD is on track to launch the 3D variants of the Ryzen 8000 series CPUs by the end of 2024, potentially boosting gaming performance by an additional 10% or more on top of that. Considering that the Ryzen 7 7800X3D is already incredibly fast, just imagine gaining an extra 20% FPS with the upcoming Ryzen 7 8800X3D. What do you think? Can Intel keep up? If you are impressed with Zen 5, just wait until you hear about what AMD has in store for their next generation of desktop processors, based on Zen 6 architecture planned for release in the second half of 2025. 
Zen 6 aims to achieve the efficiency and low latency of a single large chip while still using economical chiplets. It represents a complete redesign of the chiplet layout, incorporating a new generation of Infinity Fabric and advanced packaging techniques. This means the Ryzen 9000 series will look quite different from the current AMD processors under the heat spreader. There are rumors that AMD will stack core chiplet dies, or CCDs for short, on top of the IO dies, or IODs for short, and use silicon bridges for ultra fast communication between the CCDs. To illustrate, imagine something like this official AMD diagram. Unrelated but helpful for visualization. In the diagram, the bridge, labeled EFB, seamlessly connects two chips. While Zen 6's implementation will differ, this gives a rough idea of AMD's direction and what's already achievable with existing chip packaging technologies. Furthermore, AMD aims to enhance performance and efficiency by using TSMC's advanced 3 nanometer process, a major upgrade from the 4 nanometer technology. Additionally, a leaked internal AMD slide reveals the company's expectation of at least a 10% IPC increase over Zen 5. It's important to note the phrase at least here, indicating that the actual improvement could be higher. However, since this product is still a few years away, it's too early to make definite predictions. Another promising development that could be seen on this slide is that AMD aims to introduce a new 32-core CCD. I have no doubt that this refers to a dense core variant meant for AMD's data center CPUs. However, there is a good chance that we will see a 16-core CCD for the forthcoming consumer-grade Ryzen processors in 2025. This could enable AMD to create a 32-core mainstream CPU, effectively doubling the core count of the current top model, the Ryzen 9 7950X. In terms of gaming, Zen 6 processors are expected to offer yet another significant performance increase over Zen 5. Think about a potential 20% improvement. This could mean playing even the most demanding AAA games at incredibly high frame rates, like 200 FPS or more in games such as Cyberpunk 2077. This is especially exciting news considering that even the more budget-friendly Ryzen 5 models will outperform current high-end CPUs like the i9-14900K and Ryzen 7 7800X3D. It's always great to see more performance at a lower cost. However, there's one uncertainty. It's not clear yet if Zen 6 processors will use the current AM5 platform or if AMD will introduce a new socket. Ideally, it would be great to be able to upgrade from Ryzen 7000 to Ryzen 9000 by simply swapping CPUs. Still, there is a good chance this could happen since AMD has committed to supporting the AM5 platform at least until 2025, which coincides with the expected launch year of the Zen 6 processors. It looks like AMD has a bright future ahead in the CPU market. Personally, I find it thrilling to witness such rapid progress in CPU technology and performance. If you're curious about how Intel's future stacks up against AMD, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, as I'll be covering that in my next video. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please show your support with a like. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.